Today's question really intrigued me. I'm from one of four kids myself, so it spoke to me a lot. I hope it works for you. Here we go. Dear Adrian, I've been blessed with four children, each of whom are so different that it's hard to believe that they're siblings. Two of them are at different schools. I got to do three different carpools on top of all of it. And frankly, I don't know what I'm doing or if I'm doing something wrong because there's so much diversity and so many competing responsibilities. I need something to give. What do you suggest? I'll tell you what I suggest. I suggest you congratulate yourself because having four such different children means that they feel like they have permission to be themselves without conforming to some imposed paradigm. And that means you're doing your job. Jewish wisdom teaches us that you must raise up a child according to their way. When you do this, you're not only validating their unique soul's work, but you're celebrating that and you're encouraging them to celebrate their own journeys. I want you to imagine the concept of unity without uniformity. Unity without uniformity means that you see each person in your family, in your life, as like a different flower that requires tending and growth in different ways. Now, some flowers need a lot of light, like a sunflower, for example, like this. They thrive in the sun, they're big and showy, but you know they're late in the season and they don't last that long. And there's some flowers that like the shade, they do best under the boughs of a tree or in a darker, shadier corner of your garden. And in that environment, they're at their best and their most fragrant. So think of like lily of the valley or a fern. And some kids are like roses. They're stunning to look at, but they're prickly. It's hard to get too close to them. They're not so tactile, but they're still exquisite. So our job as mothers is not to turn your lily into a rose or your sunflower into a fern. Your job is to be the ribbon that binds them together and makes them into a beautiful bouquet. And while each flower is gorgeous on its own, especially when it's nurtured according to its way, a family is more beautiful when they're drawn together, where each bloom offsets and enhances the qualities of the other. As for your carpool situation, I totally feel for you. But remember, while the days are long, my friend, the years, they're very, very short. And soon enough, you're going to miss the challenges and joys of these days. Trust me, I know. But when that nest empties, you're going to want them to come back alone and as a unit. And that will be best accomplished by allowing them to grow according to their way and trusting that your arms become the ribbon that keeps them close. You don't need to fix anything. They're exactly as they're meant to be. As long as you continue to nurture them according to their way, and of course take the occasional time out from the pressure, then you are golden. So I hope that helped and remember, I'm Adrian, and you can ask me anything.